If flying didn't scare you enough, Korean Air has decided that it will now train its flight attendants to use tasers and it will hire more male flight attendants to subdue unruly passengers. Now this happened after uh, a violent occurrence on one of its flights. Uh, apparently there was a singer by the name of Richard Marks who was on a flight and a guy had too much to drink so he got a little animated. And so the flight attendants tried to tie him up with rope. I didn't even know that's a thing that they do. And the guy got out of the rope like three separate times. And so now Korean Air is responding um, by going a little overboard, they're saying that they are going to uh, push for more staff training, use of the latest device, the taser, um, to tie up a violent passenger, and uh, the banning of passengers with a history of unruly behavior. Marx, the singer that I mentioned earlier, said on Facebook and Twitter that he helped subdue a psycho passenger attacking crew members and other passengers, accusing crew members of being ill-trained and ill-equipped to handle the chaotic and dangerous event. Yeah, I just, I don't want flight attendants to have tasers. <laughs> That's interesting. Look, the, those guys and, and girls are in, in a tough position, right? Because if nowadays, unfortunately, uh, I think they throw people off planes a little too easily. Yeah. I've got some personal experience with that. And it's like we've all become that movie, Anger Management. They, they nailed it all those years ago, mm -hmm. you know, with Adam Sandler, like, please be calm, sir. I am calm. <laughs> right? And, uh, and so now that we have that on a mask, but if you really do have an out of control passenger, which does happen from time to time, it's a hell of a thing to subdue them. You know, how the hell are you supposed to do that? We've got some marshals on some of the planes here, mm -hmm. so they wind up helping. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but on Korean Air, it's different. They don't have U.S. marshals, obviously. And so, I don't know, somebody, you gotta, you gotta find a way to get somebody under control. I, I'm with you, Anna. I don't, Want them to do it, every, you know, way too loosely, and given how much they feel empowered, yeah, and, no, and they're throwing their weight around. I'm not sure I want our, you know, flight attendants to run around with tasers, but uh, but they do need something. Look, I'm just obviously basing this on anecdotal evidence. I haven't seen any studies on this, but based on the insane amount of travel I had to do this year for work, right? Um, I don't know. There are flight attendants who for no reason at all are just angry and upset at you and you haven't even done anything, right? I don't want to give those people tasers. Sorry. Um, they're cranky. They've been stuck on the plane. They have to deal with annoying requests all the time. I just don't think it's a good idea to give them weapons that could cause severe pain to anyone, right? Now, I think that their idea to hire male flight attendants or more male flight attendants is actually a good idea. They only have about one-tenth of their flight attendant staff uh, as males. Mm -hmm. Everyone else is female, right? And so if you have a male passenger who might be bigger and unruly, it would help to have a male flight attendant, you know, get involved to, like, subdue him in some way. Um, but I just think it's a bad idea to put any type of weapon on a plane. We're not supposed to bring weapons if we're passengers. I don't want anyone to have weapons. Sorry. Like, oh. is that crazy? No, no, it's, it's not crazy. Uh, they need to be able to contain people in some way. Uh, but I, I don't want them to have weapons that can get out of control because <laughs> lately there's been a lot of conflict between passengers and flight attendants and, uh, and flight attendants have a super hard job uh, but they seem to have been abusing their power a little bit lately so that yeah. then you get concerned. Now I have two more amazing stories about this but I'm going to save it for the post game show so tytnetwork.com slash join and so they are one is about Korean Air and one of the most amazing things I've ever read, okay, mm -hmm. you'll love that story. Uh, what people are willing to do, like not willing to do, even if they're going to die, okay? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. D-I-E, die. Okay. And Richard Marks, who remembers Richard Marks? The older, I do He's apparently married to Daisy Fuentes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Daisy Fuentes. The Doritos girl. I think so. so yeah, she, yeah, 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 yeah. So she was a star from back in the day too. She's part of the reason I started the Young Turks. What? What is this? Become a member, find out. I'll tell you all that in the post game today, tytnetwork.com slash join. If you like some of the political stories we do on the show, you're going to love Aggressive Progressive. Get that show just for members at tytnetwork.com slash join. That was a good one. That was a good one.